Hi, this is Alvin Alexander with devdaily.com, and I thought I'd show a couple of examples of how to create circles using GIMP. First thing we need is a file to work with, so I'll just go ahead and create a uh, default image. It's 640 pixels wide by 400 tall with a white background, and for the purposes of what we're doing here, that doesn't really matter too much. To create a circle, just come over to the toolbox and click the ellipse tool, then come back over to your drawing area. And if you just want to create an ellipse or an oval, uh, you can just click and drag like that. And you can see you can create any uh, ellipse shape you want. If you want to create a circle, you can either look at the bottom of the GIMP uh, dialog here that I'm working in and try to keep stretching it until you get the circle just right. And it'll show you at some point that I'll get this to 186 by 186 pixels, which is a circle. But there's a much easier way to do that. Uh, I'll undo that, and to create a circle, just hold down the shift and alternate keys, then click and drag, and as you'll see, voila, that's a much easier circle. Now once you have the circle, what you do next depends on what type of circle you want to create. If you want to create a filled in circle, just come over here and you can choose uh, fill with foreground color, background color, or pattern. I'll just go with a foreground color, and you can see that's a filled in circle, and we're done. If you don't want a filled in circle, uh, but you'd rather uh, create a circle to outline something, you can come over here to the select menu and choose a border, and it'll give you some options here. And by default, it has a five pixel border. I'll create a 10 pixel border just so it's a little bit easier to see. And then I'll feather that border so it looks a little bit smoother. Click OK, and now you can see that it's showing you two circles, the new circle inside the other one. And what this means is you can now come over and click edit. And now when you click with fill with the foreground color, it fills the area between those two circles. And I use this all the time to highlight images on the Dev Daily site. For instance, um, if I have something, a background image, and I want to highlight something on that background image, I'll create a circle like this using either a red or a yellow color. I'll create the circle as a new layer, and then I'll position that circle on top of the other image, which is also a layer. I'll show that in another video instead of trying to talk about it anymore here. So in summary, that's how you create circles using GIMP. Uh, again, this is Alvin Alexander with devdaily.com. Thank you very much.